What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's poppin' with y'all? What's up, T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today, your girl will be doing a reaction. Somebody told me to react to This Is Somalia. Everybody's been asking me. I don't even remember what video I posted. But somebody was like, are you Somalian? And I told y'all in one of my videos a couple weeks ago, I thought they were saying am I Samoan. So I'm not trying to disrespect no Somalian or any, oh, I forgot. My earring came out before I started filming y'all. I'm not trying to disrespect no Samoan or no Somalian, no, neither one of those races. That's what I thought they were saying. So my, my brother was like, no, their accent, like Somalian is like really some, like a race. I'm not sure if y'all would like me to do this, but I'm actually thinking about doing Ancestry.com and like opening it up with you guys so we could both figure out what I am. So everybody could be like, she is this. We know for a fact that is what she is. I had filmed some videos a couple weeks ago. I mean, I'm pretty sure if y'all watched my vlogs and uh my first time eating at olive garden y'all know i just lost a very very close friend to me we spent every single day in eighth grade together and i had just texted her like a few months ago so it's kind of it's been on my head i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie and i'm the type of person i don't really sit there and just be super super sad i'll just like i'll try and act happy so if y'all ever see me like smiling or whatever I most likely might still be dealing with it that's why these videos is kind of coming out very slow because I'm trying to heal and post for y'all at the same times but I'm not trying to be fake but I'm gonna get to that after I put my lip my little lip glossy on but freaking oh smash the like button I'm sorry y'all smash the like button comment something you want to see below and subscribe click the bell and join the gang if you're new then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up follow me on my social medias definitely follow me on my instagram the real underscore is Tania's world and follow me on my tiktok is Tania's world we're gonna get to it because I want to figure out am I Somalian I still want to do the ancestry.com but we I want to figure out hopefully in this video if they could tell me if I'm Somalian or whatever but and there's an ad watch it be another ad I I knew it you can never go wrong and y'all my apologies with my hair but i i didn't feel like i mean i ain't gonna lie i just went i just went to the gas station looking bummy right tell me what i seen the cutie was working the register and i'm just like i can't even say nothing so i was like if i'm looking bummy of course i was gonna get a little dressed up for y'all but i'm just like dang boy he was so he oh god he i loved his complexion but we're gonna get to it okay i'm gonna stop Somalia is a country located on the east coast of Africa, forming the shape of a horn. The country was known as the land of gods to the ancient Egyptians, the land of the tallest men to the ancient Persians, the land of cinnamon to the ancient Greeks, the land of aromatics to the ancient Romans, and the land of the unicorn to the ancient Chinese. Frankincense, one of the gifts of the biblical three wise kings, came from ancient Somalia. To this day, the Roman Catholic Church still sources all of its incense exclusively from Somalia, which remains the world's largest producer. Ancient Somalis were the first to domesticate camels in 2500 BC and spread it to ancient Egypt and the Middle East. Somalia today still has more camels than any country on Earth. You okay, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Since everybody think I got Somalian features or I look Somalian or whatever, that'd be kind of funny if I went to Somalia and they think that I'm Somalian and I'm just like, I, dude, I don't, I don't know what I, I just know I'm black. I never, I mean, I always thought to do Ancestry.com, but then once I found out you got to pay for it, I was just like, and I was still in school and I ain't had no money. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little broke, little something, but you girl, you girl, go get that. Yeah, I thought about doing it in high school, but I ain't have no money to do it. So all I know, I'm black. That'd be crazy if I went to small, you're right. They'd be like, oh my gosh, you're a relative. I <laughs> Family. Wait, what two blacks say in Poetic Justin? Cut P. <laughs> That's my movie. In the valleys of Somalia, 5,000 year old rock paintings depict one of the oldest horse Oh, I like horses. Horses were also an important unit in the cavalries of medieval Somali kingdoms. The horsemen in the kingdom of Adal, for example, wore protective armor for themselves and their horses. While the most famous horse in Somali history belonged to the Dervish king. The oldest surviving sewn ship in the world is the Somali Bedin ship. It was 
was historically used to ship important quantities of spices across the ancient world. Strabo credits the cinnamon people of ancient Somalia to be the first with the knowledge of the monsoons. The Somali people are one of the oldest Muslim nations in history. A 1,400-year-old mosque in the city of Zela dates back to the very foundation of Islam, when the early Muslims received refuge from the Aksumite Empire and the Horn of Africa. The medieval Silk Road gold trade between Africa and Asia was founded by Somali merchants from Mogadishu, who established a colony in modern Mozambique and extracted gold from the mines of the Mono Matava Kingdom of Southern Africa. Madagascar was named after Mogadishu. Marco Polo, during his stay in... I ain't gonna lie, I used to love that movie Madagascar as a kid, but I just love the name Madagascar, and it's kind of funny because they named the movie Madagascar, but I always loved that freaking movie, and I always loved that freaking name, and it's funny that he given some ish... Hit He's giving some history on Madagascar because I'm like, I I actually never even thought where Madagascar, what is going on? I never thought where Madagascar came from, so it's kind of good that he's going into detail. Confused the wealthy sultanate of Mogadishu with the large island in the Indian Ocean. During that same period, the infamous Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan sent a delegation to Mogadishu to establish Mongol trade with medieval Africa. Suspected of being spies scouting out the continent, the Mongols were imprisoned. Kublai Khan then sent another delegation, and they, too, were imprisoned. This swift action by the Somali sultans most likely saved Africa from any further Mongol interest. The Somali Empire of Adal introduced cannon warfare to the African continent in its war against Abyssinia and the Portuguese Empire. Adal was also the first African power to defeat a European power on African soil since the Battle of Cana between the Carthaginians and the Romans 1800 years earlier. During the war, Cristavo da Gama, son of Vasco da Gama, was defeated and killed by the King of Adal. The Sultanate of Mogadishu minted its own coins, which have been found as far away as modern Iraq, Turkey, and Dubai. In the 1580s, a Somali fleet from the Ajuran Empire joined a Turkish fleet from the Ottoman Empire and began attacking Portuguese strongholds across southeastern Africa to free the Swahili. Really? The disrespect. Why does it do that every every time? Every er time. Er time I come to this freaking car and try to film a video for y'all. This freaking happy. I'm not feeling it. Oh, look at you here. Okay. You're interrupting my, you know what? This is what we're about to do. ...world from Portuguese domination. In the year 1660, the Portuguese surrendered to a joint somali omani force at Mombasa in modern Kenya. The only hydraulic empire in medieval Africa was the somali Ajuran Empire. With a network of limestone wells, cisterns, and dikes, it successfully utilized two large East African rivers to project power. In the 13th century, a Somali explorer named Said of Mogadishu traveled to Arabia, India, and China. In the 14th century, a Somali explorer, Abdul Aziz of Mogadishu, became ruler of the Maldives. In the 15th century, a Somali saint founded a town across the Red Sea. Whoa. Y'all, it said Yemen. Tell me why my freaking grandma said somewhere along the line we Yemen. I think I'm gonna have to do an ancestry.com and film it for y'all. Cause that's so, that's weird. If I wasn't doing this reaction off my phone, I swear to God, I would call my grandma right now. She told, she said that my great grandmother got Yemen in her. And I, this ain't coming from me, so don't nobody come at me, but y'all probably still will. She said that Yemen's are beyond crazy like i know i done told y'all like people in london people in chicago they, they they get down crazy she said they crazy crazy and it makes sense because my great rest in peace but my great grandmother was very crazy okay why did yamin have to pop up then my grandpa was saying his grandmother has indian i'm just like that would be some stuff if i do have somalia and i thought this whole entire time i was black so i'm pretty 
appreciate everybody that told me to do this reaction. Cause now that this might this might stir some stuff up. I might be like, dang, I thought I was black this that'd be crazy if somebody be like, what are you? And I'm telling them I'm black this whole entire time and I really got all <sighs> I'ma just say I appreciate you and we're gonna get back to this video. Cause that's crazy. The first Muslim settlement in Sri Lanka was established by a Somali saint. Somali merchants introduced coffee to the world. Grown in modern Ethiopia, Somali merchants exported... Tell me why somebody asked was I Ethiopian? We just gonna get back to it. Now famous stimulant from the Somali port of Berber to Yemen and the rest of the world in the 15th century. Somali <gasps> merchants... I loved you guys! ...to Imperial China. Aww. ...for giraffe is still used in China, Korea, and Japan. Okay, well since we got an ad, I ain't gonna lie, I, I had a little little situation and I went to the zoo and I was supposed to feed a giraffe, but I got scared <laughs> cause that giraffe came close, boy. <laughs> I, I was like, look, I love y'all to death, but Jesus. But I do want to go to that one hotel. I think it's in Africa where the giraffes comes to your window and you can feed them from your hotel. I want to go there. If anybody know where that the, that hotel is at, y'all just y'all just leave it in the comments because I really would like to check it out. And I will definitely vlog that, that whole entire experience because I love your giraffes. Scholar families from Somalia are credited with important literary works in Islam and produced viziers, scientists, and and scholars serving the Mamluk sultans of Egypt, Damascus, and the Ottoman Empire. In the 18th century, Abdurrahman al-Jabardi recorded the Napoleonic invasion of Egypt. In southern Morocco, Somali merchants established one of the largest and most popular mosques. It's still known as the Somali Mosque. The oldest African community in the United Kingdom was established by Somali sailors. In the 19th century, Somali Sultan Ali <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I gotta take a screenshot. Y'all, y'all don't know him, but my freaking I mean, I say my brother, but really he's my play brother. Looks exactly like this freaking dude right here. That is weird. Like exactly like him. I'd be crazy if I text him. I'm like, this is who you look like. He'd probably be like, yeah, yeah, look, look. look. I'm the little sister that just, you know, you just gotta accept, accept me for me, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. And then sometimes when I tell people, they get offended. But, but that, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to send this to my brother. Well, the, bro my, the brother that y'all know, I'm gonna send it to him. Be like, don't just look like so and so. And yep, look, except, except he ain't got dreads. Raised an army from Arabia. That is weird. Kingdom in Northeast Somalia. The only Muslim power in Africa during World War I was the Dervish state of Somalia. The Dervishes fought the longest anti-colonial war in African history and built fortresses across East Africa. That's how my hair look. Hasna, a Somali female commander, led one of the seven divisions of the Dervish army. The Somali Republic is the only African country whose borders were created by Africans. In 1960, the northern and southern parts of modern Somalia formed a historic union to establish a new country. Women in Somalia voted in elections before women in Switzerland. The first head of state to peacefully relinquish power in Africa. Look, if I am Somali, my girls did y'all thing. Y'all did y'all thing for us. Was the Somali president Aden Abdulli Osman? In 1962, future no Somali ad. President Ali Shamarke went on a state visit to the United States and was oh, welcomed snap. by President John F. Kennedy. Oh. Both presidents were assassinated in the 60s, despite Dang. their popularity with the masses. Two of Africa's and the Middle East's largest film festivals were the Mogadishu Film Festival and the Mogadishu Pan-African Film Symposium. The most expensive African film ever made is the 1982 four-hour-long epic, The Somali Dervish. Somalia's funky musical scene in the 1970s was popularly known as Moga Disco. One of Africa's first female I'm about to check that out. was Osli Abade Hassan of the Somali Air Force. Oh. 
I can kind of see where y'all get the whole I might be Somalian. Because she got some complex. I mean, well, I can't really see because it's black and white. But judging off my assumption, I can kind of grasp where her complexion is. And it's probably somewhere near mine. I, I mean, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I still think I'm black. Who soloed her first flight in 1976. In 1981, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the NBA's all-time leader in points, coached the Somali basketball team. During the African Championship in Mogadishu, the Somali team went from nobodies to continental heavyweights, jumping to Africa's top three. Somalia was the first African country to sign a friendship treaty with the Soviet Union. 5,000 Somali soldiers and students at one point trained and studied in the Eastern Bloc. Soviet cosmonauts trained in Somalia to prepare for their missions in space. The airport of Berbera, with the longest runway in Africa, was also one of NASA's designated emergency landing points on Earth for the iconic space shuttle. The Ogaden War was the longest conventional war fought in Africa since World War II, with the heaviest mechanized and aerial battles. It resulted in the largest Soviet intervention and airlift since the march towards Berlin in 1945, just to push back the Somali soldiers who had overrun the Ethiopian Empire. The Somali pharmaceutical industry at one point mass-produced 48 essential drugs and was one of Africa's largest hubs for pharmaceuticals. Mogadishu was known as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean and a major tourist magnet. Somalia in 1974 launched Africa's largest literacy campaign and won a UNESCO medal after the country's literacy rate jumped from 5% to 75%. Somalia built Burundi's Air Force, protected the borders of Tanzania and Uganda, flew jets for Zambia, defended Mozambique from the Portuguese, trained South Africans fighting apartheid, supplied Eritrea's War of Independence, sent troops to Angola, sent medics to Equatorial New Guinea, supported Egypt with naval logistics, supported Djibouti's independence movement, supported Zimbabwe and Namibia's war against the apartheid forces. The country has a rich heritage filled with ancient and medieval cities, castles, towers, and fortresses. Somalia has produced more supermodels than any other country from the African continent. Yep. The president of the international... I can kind of understand why y'all would think I might be Somalian. Court of Justice comes from Somalia. As does Olympic champion Mo Farah, award-winning rapper and poet Kanan, Nobel-nominated author Naruddin Farah, U.S. Congresswoman Alan Omar, and many more. The Somali bandy team are the undisputed champions of Africa, as Somalia is the only country in Africa with a bandy team. The ancient Shah board game originates in Somalia and is played from Egypt to Tanzania. The most popular hat worn by Muslim men across East Africa originates and is exclusively produced in the Somali city of Brava. Though Somalia is one of the most homogenous countries in the world, the country has several important minority populations, such as the Bajunis, the Brabanese, the Benadiri, the Somali Bantu, and the Arabs. Dude, the Somali people are genetically and, and this linguistically one. closely related to the Afars, the Hararais, the Oromos, the Bejas, the Amharas, the Saho, and other major groups in the Horn of Africa. Somalis are the only African- uh, Rude freaking camera. Makes sense now. I thought somebody had said horn, horn African, and I didn't know if that was a compliment or if that was trying to say some stuff, you know? Cause I didn't, I never heard of a horn African. I'm like, look, I may be black, all right? And I may not know exactly what I am, all right? Y'all might be thinking I'm Somalian, but I ain't no horn African. I thought it was an insult. I didn't know. I didn't know and it was an actual thing. I don't even think I replied back, so if you watch this video, I apologize. I couldn't tell if it was a compliment, but I'm glad I'm glad we got to that in this video. Have a sea named after them. Off the coast of Sicilies lies the Somali Sea. Despite emerging from a civil war, 
Somalia still has the most deep water ports on the African continent. With the longest coastline in mainland Africa, Somalia is one of five African countries selected by Rakanshur to become a blue economy giant. Somalia has 52 million heads of livestock, 27 million sheep and goats, 15 million camels, I want to get on a camel. cows, and one of the richest fishing grounds in the world. Somalia's dairy industry is worth $3.3 billion. According to the Spectator Index, Somalia is also ranked first in global camel milk production. A Financial <laughs> Times article has stated that the best real estate investment in the world today is beachfront huts in Somalia. Somalia is considered a future energy superpower with an estimated 110 billion barrels of oil, one third of the world's uranium reserves. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand all the oil and stuff. I never understood it, didn't really understand it in school. <laughs> That's why I'm shocked that I got the grades that I got in history <laughs> when we started talking about stuff like this. If I, I mean, if I am Somalian, because I, I don't know what I am, I told y'all I'm gonna do an ancestry.com. If I am Somalian, because everybody keep asking me and they be saying I got, y'all be saying I got Somalian features. If I am Somalian, I appreciate the stuff that my peoples done did. If I am y'all peoples, I don't, I don't, I still don't know what I am. I wish I could tell y'all right now so I could be like, I am, I'm, I'm Somalian and I could, I could feel proud of some stuff, but I don't know what I am. We, we have to figure something out because I really, I would, I'm, huh, I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know exactly like if it's a kit that they send to me or or if they just ask me questions i don't know because i never really got that far i start i tried to do it the freeway <laughs> cheap way and not go ancestry.com and it uh, i did that a few years ago so i can't tell y'all what that said but i know for a fact it wasn't no somalian the strongest wind power potential in the world and three thousand hours of sunlight annually Somalia is a continental leader in mobile money, with a market worth $32 billion a year, which is larger than the economies of Albania and Jamaica. Somalia has the cheapest internet cost per gigabyte in Africa, and more than 70% of adults use a mobile phone. The Somali shilling has been the best performing currency in the world between 2010 and 2020. Somali Airlines was the first airline flown entirely by African pilots. Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, is the fastest growing city in Africa and is enjoying a major reconstruction boom. Somalia's Milky Sea is the largest bioluminescent area in the world. And with a total of 649 species, Somalia is a hidden bird watcher's paradise. Somalia has national parks, it has beaches, it has rivers, it has deserts, it has jungles, it has valleys, and it has stunning mountains. In 20 I like mountains. Because of its impressive economic reforms, Somalia has achieved debt relief and can finally focus on transforming the country and harnessing its vast potential. This is Somalia. Somalia. Oh yeah, baby. No plan. Okay, I need to. I need to calm my nerves. So since I watched that video, now I have some information on Somalia. I still want to figure out what I am, so we could both be on the same page on if I am or if I ain't Somalian. I told um, I told my mom. I think that same comment with the Horn African said uh, eat, that I looked like I was either Ethiopian or Horn African or whatever. And my mom was like, maybe I could pass for Ethiopian. I'm like. I mean, the Ethiopians, I, the Ethiopians, my bad, said that too fast. The Ethiopians that I didn't came across, I don't think I look like them. But it's funny, cause like, there was this one boy in school that I went to school with, and he was trying to get at me, and he was like, are you black and Mexican? And I thought that was an insult. I was like, boy, I am full black. What is you, boy? Uh. First of all, that was an insult, cause I'm not no freaking black and Mexican. Talk to me about some freaking, are you black and Mexican? Boy, no! Now y'all talk about I look freaking Ethiopian and Somalian. I'm like, I, I don't freaking know what I am at this point. When I was born, my eyes was like, not trying to offend, but my eyes was literally like, I, don't, I hope y'all could see because I can't see when I do this. But my eyes was literally like this when I was born. And they asked my mom, I kid you not. So if y'all want a story time on this, let me know. But they asked my mom, was my dad Asian? I mean, of course I'm light skinned. And when you first born, you ain't got no sun hitting you or none of that. So I looked 
I did, I did look Asian. And if I get my hair braided a certain way, I could look Asian. So, I don't know what I am. I told y'all I'm probably gonna do an Ancestry.com. So, let me know if y'all want to see that. Even if y'all don't, I probably still will do it. Just because we gotta be on the same page here. We have to be on the same page here. There's no way I'm gonna be freaking posting these videos for y'all. And y'all talk about, you're still Somalian. And I'm thinking I'm black. We need to be on the same page. Either y'all right or I'm right. Somebody right here. I just don't know who, who right in this situation smash the like button comment something you want to see below also subscribe and click the bell and join the gang if you're new then definitely subscribe because we're going Whoa! because we're going nowhere but uh follow me on my social medias definitely follow me on my instagram the real underscore is tania's world and follow me on my tiktok is tania's world i don't know how we could do this but we're gonna have to work as a team here i just found my newest favorite couple like i, I watch people that's single too but i just found my newest favorite couple and i need somehow to get in contact with these people because they only a couple hours away from me easy and natalie i love them to death i swear to god before i came make these videos i was watching they, they videos i actually found out about them like a week ago and that's exactly who i've been watching like every single day let me let me know how how we gonna how we gonna work this thing out because you know i would love to meet them stay tuned for my other videos but remember it's t gang or no gang we out